Hey folks, this is a grade two, module three, lesson 12. And in this video, we're gonna be talking more about how we are going to change 10 ones for a 10, or 10 tens for a 100. And then even, we're gonna change 10 hundreds for a thousand. The idea is, as we're going, once we get a bundle of 10, we're gonna cash it in for one in the next column higher. Let's get started on this. So the idea would be this number right here is 360. I'm going to use a place value chart and the 10 frames inside so as to kind of really highlight what 360 means. It means we have three in the hundreds column, six in the tens column, and nothing in the ones column. And then as we're counting up by ones, you got 361, 362, 363. So what's going on is we just keep adding one in the ones column. So 365, 366, 367, 368, 369. Now what's going to happen here? Well, technically, we're going to have 360 plus 10. So we've got 300s, six tens and then 10 ones. But these 10 ones can be bundled up and exchanged for a single dot over here. So what are we gonna end up having? We're gonna end up having three in the hundreds column still, but now we're gonna have seven in the tens column and all of these uh, dots over here get cashed in, they're gone because they got moved over and collected and bundled up as a single 10 right here. So the idea, 10 ones equals 110. And then we can continue counting. 371, 372, 373, 374, and we can continue counting. And now what's gonna happen? Well, once again, we're, we're gonna have 10 ones. So we're gonna have 300, seven tens, and then 10 ones. But these 10 ones can be bundled up and exchanged for a single dot in the tens column. So 10 ones equals 110. So uh, this kind of unofficial number, kind of not traditionally written, becomes 380. All right, so where we had 300s, 7 tens, and 10 ones, these 10 ones get cashed in. Now we have 8 tens, and then we have no ones over here. And we can just continue going. So at any time, so when we've reached 390, the idea would be what did we do? We just cashed in 10 ones for a 10. And we can continue counting up 396, 397, and we're going to count. Now here's a really awesome thing that happens is we get to exchange and bundle up twice because first over here our 10 ones get cashed in for a single dot down here in the tens column. But then that gives us 10 tens which can then be bundled up to move a single dot and get a single dot over here into the hundreds column. So we're gonna end up with four in the hundreds column and nothing else in either of these because they all got cashed in for the next column over. And that's the idea of uh, cashing in, or I, that's kind of an inappropriate, not a technical ta uh, name, but the idea would be we can uh, compose 10 ones together to equal a single 10. Then we can compose 10 tens together to equal a hundred. And that is grade, what is it? Grade two, module three, lesson 12. All right, so now the, uh, let's really, that was the notes. So now let's really take a look at the homework assignment uh, for lesson 12. And so the idea would be uh, students are going to be counting from 368 to 500. And as they're going, they're going to try and be conscious and aware of any time that they have reached a, 
like a landmark number and are having to regroup and change for a larger unit. For example, as they start at 368, so they're going to say 368, 369, 370, and, and at 370, that's when they need to be aware, hmm, I've just cashed in for a larger unit. So if they were to say to themselves at 377, have they cashed in for a larger unit? The answer is no. In fact, what they need is three more ones. So the idea would be you'd put a three right here. And then as they're counting and they get up to 392, have we ca cashed in anything at 392? The answer is no. Uh, so over here, we know that we need eight more ones before we're ready to cash in. And then at 400, oh, at 400, what has happened? Well, not only did we cash in from like 399 to 390 plus 10. So we have to circle the 10 because we're going from 390 plus 10 to cash in but plus we're crossing over into the 400s. So we're also going to circle the 100 here. And then I'm going to skip down all the way up here. Everything is in the no column. Here we need two more ones. Here we need seven more ones. And then finally down here, because we've reached the 470, we get to circle the 110 because at that point we are bundling our 10 ones to equal a 10. So we've bundled 10 ones and now we're cashing that in and now we have seven tens. So we have 470 and no ones. And uh, so that's really how we're going to fill it in. Ultimately, folks, <laughs> uh, this lesson, uh, don't fight over it. Uh, if your students are really struggling, the particulars of how to fill in this worksheet, don't worry. The idea is really um, just get the kids to understand that when they've reached 10 of anything, they get to cash that in for a, a single dot in the next column over, the next column to the left.